Hey Arrowheads, welcome back to Queen Consolidated, a Southgate Media Group podcast dedicated to all things related to Arrow over on the CW. I am Phil, and joining me as always is Will. Hey guys, so it begins. <laughs> episode 506, the 90th episode. We're so close, I can almost taste the Laurel flashback, or whatever it's gonna be. <laughs> Like, I'm so hyped for Katie Cassidy's return. It's so ridiculous. I'm sorry, guys. Um, anyway, um, a quick synopsis of this episode. When Prometheus ups his killing spree, Oliver searches for connections between the victims. Felicity and Curtis discover the victims have a mysterious link to Oliver's past. And, of course, this new team up in, uh, this new secret up in the team for a little bit. Meanwhile, Thea has a heart-to-heart with Lance. And Felicity tells Malone the truth about what she does. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This was written by... I, can, I couldn't believe that an episode this good, no offense, <laughs> was written by Wendy Merkel, but she also had help from Brian Forrest Sullivan, so I think he evened it out. Mm-hmm. Um, this episode was directed by uh, Arrow fandom favorite John Barry. He's been there since the <laughs> beginning. And hopefully he'll be there till the end. I really love his directorial execution. I can always tell when it's him. I was really hyped. This episode had a really great cinematic feel, even if it was even if that cinematic feel was slightly kind of like Daredevil the movie star Ben Affleck. Just saying. <laughs> but that so it begins little situation. <laughs> Should it shouldn't that be like the title of like the first episode of the season? Right. And I was like, um, are we I I mean uh, we already begun it way back. I mean, this would have been perfect to like that. Should have been like the pilot episode title. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> well, I mean, if it what? has, if it has to do with Prometheus, at least the first episode of this season. But it's like, okay, what he's just been messing around for the last five episodes. Now it's like, okay, now I'm really gonna start. Well, he, I guess because he let Oliver know, hey, this is about you, buddy. Yeah, well, like I said, maybe it'll make more sense once we find out who he is. Maybe. But it was like, because it was, this was just kind of jarring for me because we've been doing the whole, uh, the title is the theme of the episode, but I didn't really feel like So It Begins was like a theme of the episode, you know what I mean? Mm Mm-hmm. And I know I was having a conversation with Tyler where we were just like, do you you think that's Stephen Amell's stunt double being Prometheus right now? Because he seems to move kind of like Stephen, or at least the Green Arrow character. Yeah, I could see that. Obviously, it's the stunt double right now. Oh, I yeah. Think. Oh, yeah. Especially if it's who everybody wants him to be. I Oh, shout out to the Facebook group chat for Legends of DC. I love how Zach was like, I heard I heard a, uh, I heard a, a theory on the internet that Prometheus was Tommy, and everyone's like, you don't say! <laughs> that was me. I was like, really? You're kidding me. <laughs> so freaking funny. Anyway... <laughs> Zach. <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting for another two weeks when he says, hey guys, did you hear? Talia Al Ghul's coming. <laughs> oh, um, I I thought this episode was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I want my red herring. I want it to be true. <laughs> I want Quentin. I didn't know I wanted this until they showed it to me. I was like, yes, Quentin needs to be Prometheus. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, do you really, do you think they would reveal that in episode six? I think they should split up their seasons into two like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. does. It would keep this series from being bogged down all the damn time and having the back half of the season fall apart. Yeah, but do you think they can do that with the crossover and everything? I think because of the crossover, they should definitely wrap it up. (laughs) So what are you saying? He sh- he should Quentin should be Prometheus, and he defeats Prometheus by like the mid season. I'm not saying defeat him, but I think that the audience should know who the who the villain is. I mean, they they did the mid season with Malcolm Merlin back in season one. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, obviously it's like Quentin's being mind controlled, and maybe they're poisoning or putting some magic in his booze or something like that. Because mm-hmm. he has been. I have been saying, what the hell is up with Quentin? He is really freaking weird since this season started. And it's more than the alcoholism. Like, it's literally like a different character. Yeah. Maybe I... it's the Dominator. Oh, maybe the Dominator is messing with Quentin. <laughs> oh, maybe. But yeah, I, that was my first thought. I'm like, he's being set up. It's Maybe it's, maybe it's even mind control. Maybe 
you know, you know maybe he did do some of this, but it's because I he think was it was him to. on the. I think it was him on the train though, because Prometheus got cut on the on his arm, and mm-hmm. then we cut to it. Like there was no other reason to cut to it, and he also had like the. St- and now I'm just noticing that the throwing star is shaped like the arrowhead, right? Mm-hmm. With the little knuckle grips, and I was like, oh snaps. <laughs> Like, this is a good episode. They, they threw us so many little crumbs and things. And it broke my heart when Thea had to confront Quentin and realize that he'd been lying to her. Like, that hurt my soul. Yeah, but I think th- the whole thing with it, you know, the throwing stars being the melted down arrowheads, I think that's the big red herring because they're like, oh, well, you know, a cop would need access to that. Well, Not guess who? Really. <laughs> well, well, too, and, and who's a cop this season? Oh, Oh, match. I mean, Billy Malone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no, but no, and like, oh my God, I so want Billy to be, but like, I want him to be Prometheus because he was too much of a fanboy. He was like, so do you know where he lives? See what I'm saying? It's mm. like starting to add up. And like I said, Thea's not dating anybody. It's Felicity's turn to date the evil guy. Yeah. I'm and telling I, you. And I'm not saying he might not be Prometheus, but he's working for, if he's not, he's working for Prometheus. Exactly. This is a DJ Nanda Part beat all over again. <laughs> exactly. And then Felicity told him that she works for the Arrow, so he's going to sleep his way right. Like, he wasn't mad about her stealing evidence? You can get fired and thrown in prison for that. What? Well, if you're working for the bad guy, you don't care. Exactly. He's, like, he's... that was way too creepy. That That whole situation was way too creepy for me. I'm telling she's you, he's like, just shut up and let me kiss you. <laughs> he's he's either Prometheus or working for Prometheus, and he's gonna sleep his way right into that arrow cave. And no, that's not or... a euphemism. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll keep that to myself. Or it's McKenna Hall. Boom! Boy, you want that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was a cop. I'm just saying. Yeah. That paralyzed. She might have got. She might have uh, actually hired the bee lady to steal the chip for. Her. I'm just saying. <laughs> I got some tinfoil to put on. I'm just saying. <laughs> y'all, y'all gonna love me for my crackpot theories. It's okay. I'm telling It'll you, Bill. It's Bill. It's Billy Malone. Either he's either working for the guy or he is the guy. Although I don't That's think that's a real red herring, honestly. Because mm-hmm, <laughs> it has to be. I don't, I don't want Billy to be Prometheus though, because it's, I don't know, it's gonna feel like a letdown. I don't. Know. I told you guys from the start, don't get your hopes up about Tommy. I told you this. Yeah, but I mean, the t- like you said, he doesn't have time. But yeah, it's all stunt double now. You know, we don't need him till the unmasking. And so. say he, say he unmasks at the end of this, the mid-season finale. You know, you get him for two seconds unmasking, and then you don't need him. To, you know. Until the second half of the season, or and then he pulled my and he, favorite one, it's Ali Al Ghul. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but this she isn't it. Doesn't Prometheus have they say have like a length of season one? Well, they can wreck kind of the hell out of it. I mean, have you seen seasons three and four? Like I said, I don't trust those clues anymore. After the grave debacle, I don't trust clues. I don't trust anything they say until it, it, it's like, uh, what is it? Uh, you can tell me what you want, but until I have confirmation, I don't, I don't mm-hmm. trust you. Oh, oh, and then we, the whole Tali Al Ghul thing, uh, you know what Charlie messaged me the other day? And Charlie, I know you're listening to this. Uh, he goes, he goes, if we're getting her, he goes, does that mean we're getting a Damien Queen? Why would he say something like that? I even told him, I said, I said, don't say that in front of Lilith. I mean, we already technically kind of have Connor, so I don't need that, too. <laughs> I guess he just thought, it, he, he's getting the he's getting the, the idea. He's like, are they going to steal that Batman story, too? Probably. <laughs> God, now I'm sick to my stomach about Tali Ho <laughs> Um, I really, really love the flashbacks. Like, oh my god, Dolph killed it as Constantine Kovar. He freaking I know. Killed it. I can't wait for next episode because, I mean, he really didn't show up until, like, towards the end of the episode. I'm like, oh, we need more. Oh, we're gonna get it. And Oliver's gonna get it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get I'm, I'm, I keep saying it. We're gonna get that Rocky Four scene, man. 
He is going to get the mess beat out of him, and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. I am a sick, sick soul. I know, but I love when Oliver gets tortured. I love it. Mm-hmm. Don't judge me. We know what she's into, people. <laughs> Only when it's Oliver, though. <laughs> and, I mean, how, I mean, how old is Dolph Lundgren? He does look older, but he looks good. I know! I was just like, dang! That Hollywood living, son. I guess. I mean, except for a couple lines on his face, I'm like, man, he looks still looks like he beat the crap out of people. He's so big and intimidating. Like, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when, when they said it, I was like, oh, I'm like, is, is, is this going to be the thing, like, the older guy, you're not going to buy that he could beat the crap out of Oliver? But I, I, I buy it. Me too. Oh, um... The other guy that we got, we learned the head of the Bratva. Uh, shout out to Cousin Johnny from uh, Justified on FX. I was just like, oh my god, now now I kind of want Boyd Crowder uh, to be on. I forget the actor's real name. It slips my mind every time. I was just like, we need more Justified actors. Timothy Oliphant, please come on, Arrow, please. <laughs> I love me some Timothy Oliphant. He is thebob.com but anyway um i just these flashbacks are really great and intense and i love how the guy was like you play how you say douche real well i was just like oh my god no they went there (laughs) that was such a good line such a good line all these flashbacks were awesome like they had mold for a moment and i was just like just give me dolls just give it when they gave it to me i was just like yes now give me more Mm -hmm. so good Oh, Anatoly. It's something up with Anatoly. I, I can't put my finger on it, but it's something up with that guy. And the bomb, like, I thought the bomb was going to come back into play. Like, we saw the bomb on the train, and Oliver was like, nope, not enough time to defuse it. I know. I'm like, oh, we're going to pull a, uh, the Batman. Batman, yeah, Batman Begins. <laughs> right? We're on the train, and he even does the little the parachute arrow, and I was like, oh my god! We got the parachute arrow! <laughs> I mean, if Prometheus had still been standing there, you know he would have said, "I don't have to say, I don't, I can't, I don't, I don't have to kill you, but I don't have to save you." <laughs> I know. And then he rips off his mask and it's pointing. He's like, "I guess I do have to say." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, like I said, you know, it's, they're trying to go back to season one and two, and we are just straight up blatantly ripping off Batman, the the the, uh, the Nolan trilogy. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, but I mean, back to the whole Prometheus thing. I mean, forgive me for going Marvel, but I mean, they're pulling a whole Hobgoblin thing from the '80s. It's gonna, he's, he's gonna watch mid-season finale. He's gonna unmask Prometheus. It's gonna be Quentin, but he, they're they're gonna find out later that he was like mind controlled or something. In of the... course, you see it from a mile away. Uh huh. And it's okay because I thought that they were gonna go the whole Smallville route with Tommy and uh, well, they kind of actually did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly. They went the Smallville route with the whole Tommy and Malcolm thing, so it was just kind of like, uh... But, I'm saying, maybe, huh, we might get, I wonder if all the flashbacks this season will be in Russia? No, I'm just thinking, if Tommy comes back, maybe we'll get some flashbacks of Laurel, and, you know, that's why he's all mad. We let Laurel die. Uh, I don't know. Like, I've just never been aboard the Tommy is Prometheus trade, because I feel like that's the one character that needs to stay dead, even though we're not, like, saying... Like, season two was all about that, you know? That's why he stopped killing and all those things. But yeah, we've been so but, past that. But he's back to killing. He, kind of like he forgot that promise. Not that he forgot it. He just learned after Laurel's death that sometimes it's necessary. I know, but I'm just I'm just thinking, you know, it's Tommy, Laurel's death sent him off, and then the last straw was that ugly statue. The, the freaking Charlie and the uh, who Willy Wonka's factory. Uncle <laughs> Lupus made that. Yeah, yeah, I was mad about that too. Maybe I'm Prometheus. Maybe we're all Prometheus, and he's just a tulpa <laughs> of our our generated anger. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, put your tinfoil hat on for that one. Um, and not a lot of city hall stuff this week. Uh, mm-hmm. But Oliver is getting accused of banging Suzanne Williams, so I think he's totally gonna bang her. Yeah, you know, you know it. You know it's gonna happen. I like how we just kind of like we just kind of left last week, last episode's like uh, end, and she's just interviewing him and being nice to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're just like, um, 
no more secret. It's no more deep than the parking lot, really? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> no, I'm she's... gonna go back pretty quick though. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll. I'll predict this right now. He. He will sleep with her eventually. Maybe after resisting for a while, he will sleep with her. She's gonna tell him she knows some of his secrets, at least the Russian stuff, and then. I don't know if it's before the mid-season premiere. Well, probably after the mid-season premiere. But at some point, she's going to get killed by Prometheus. Yeah, I see that coming a mile away. They do love fridging women on this show. They really do. <laughs> she's a plot uh, device. She totally is. And an Easter egg. A terrible, terrible Easter egg. Wait, which one? Green Lantern's not going to happen, people. They're uh, never going to let them have it again. Mm-hmm. Maybe if this was the Flash, maybe. I don't know, but I think that season two's quality has definitely increased. I'm like, I'm really enjoying this season. Yeah, yeah. The 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 flashbacks are a lot better, and oh, shout out to Evelyn, aka Artemis. Like they made up this episode. It was so cute. They were like, "Yeah, you guys are the B team. Like, no joke. Mm-hmm. Deal with it." <laughs> <laughs> but no she was like I was being a jerk I was just like you know what when you turn 18 I'm gonna sh- if Laura doesn't come back I'm shipping it the minute she turns 18 I don't care well, why wait she was almost drinking this episode well they are in Canada at least Curtis remembered that this was supposed to be an American show <laughs> but we did have Thea running a club when she was 18 or 19 just saying uh, that was a cute little team scene team B scene Mm-hmm. <laughs> team B, uh, yeah, Team B, B Team C. There we go. That was the perfect. Early- that was the perfect scene. You know, one of the other members of the team should ask Curtis, like, "How do you do your hair so fast?" <laughs> He's a secret matter. Hong <laughs> <laughs> Kong, the only speedsters rock their hair in cornrows. He's a secret speedster. Was it you or somebody else? I know someone said, you know, why don't they just reveal that, you know. When he's in the kit, you know, it's either a wig at one point or another. That wasn't me, but yeah, it's a wig. I mean, Sarah did wear a blonde wig over blonde hair. Exactly. <laughs> Secret identity, perfect. Oh my god, with a big T on your face. Yeah, nobody get me. Yeah, if my husband sees me on the news, he totally won't know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, honey, I don't know where that uh, those bruises came from. <laughs> Mess. Yeah. Um, Curtis is just the weakest link, and I hope, like, I feel like this they they were developing Wild Dog. They're trying to develop Artemis, and then they'll get to Curtis, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe because we've seen Curtis before, that they're trying to build up these other characters who are brand new. But don't you feel like his motivation for being a hero is weak? Yeah, unless they unless they reveal that there's more to it later. I hope so. Yeah. Because it feels cheap right now, so it's cheapening his character. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you did you see the new uh, rumor? I guess they're saying someone's going to die in episode 100. Yeah, I hope a lot of them die. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, wait, are they are they hitting around that someone we care about? Or is it going to be like Wild Dog or something? A lot of people care about Wild Dog. <laughs> I don't Not know. Too, apparently. <laughs> what? I said it, just not you, apparently. I mean, I don't dislike him, but I think if they're going to kill anyone, he's the easiest one to kill off, and, you know... His team way too big, though, so... I mean, you're going to have riots in the street if it's, like, Diggle, and, I mean, even Felicity has her fans, or Thea, but, yeah, I'm... Thea pretty... can't die for a third or fourth time, bro. <laughs> I know. But I'm just saying, I, I think... Oh... Oh, I just had a Quint- thought. Yeah, man, what if it's Quentin and it, they think he, you know, they he dies with them thinking he's Prometheus, but then when the season comes back, they they realize they were wrong and there is a real Prometheus out there. Uh, that would be sad cuz I love Paul Bettany, but it would be good storytelling. I think that they definitely need to stop sacrificing good storytelling for keeping fan favorites around. I think that's what happened with Malcolm Merlin, aka John mm-hmm. Barrowman. And if they don't have something juicy for Bob Blackthorn, he can still go get TV roles. He can still go get movie roles. So 
I mean, there's nothing really in Star City for him. His one daughter's traveling in time. His other daughter's dead for now, supposedly. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, I mean... Donna broke up with him. He's not a police... Well, he's deputy mayor now, but... I mean, you know? it, it, it fits the pattern. I mean, they did bring Sarah back eventually, but they do like uh, fridging that Lance family. They do! The Lance family has suffered almost as much as the Queen family, if not more. <laughs> So it's just like, oh, maybe. And then we have to travel back in time and save him, and he ends up on Legends with his daughter. I'd be okay with that. Mm hmm. Or? But yeah, I think it, it definitely would probably be Quentin because they really don't like the older actors, like, for some reason. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they killed Moira. Mm hmm. Like, p parental figures on the CW. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. <laughs> Yeah, now that I say that, I think that's it. They, it, it he, they're gonna think he's gonna, they're gonna kill him, and everyone's gonna think, oh yeah, for me he was Prometheus. And then at the end of the season, mid-season finale, you're gonna see there's a real Prometheus. Ah, oh, poor Quentin. Mm. And then the real Prometheus will be Robert Queen. <laughs> oh, I so I really want that. I really do. Because seriously, like like I I read somewhere. I mean, think about it. Yeah, they showed in the flashback he blew his brains out, but off screen you didn't see it happen. You heard. Plus, the... Oliver did go a little crazy in season one where he was hallucinating his father, but mm -hmm. was a hallucination. And we also have Flashpoint in the mix too. So, do we though? Well, didn't they say like there's going to be at least two changes to the show, and the only change we've seen so far is uh, Diggle's baby. <laughs> Oh my god, by the way, I heard that Diggle finds out that he used to have a daughter. I don't oh. know how true that is. Maybe the crossover. Oh. Yeah, the crossover. Yeah, Barry's gonna open his big freaking mouth. Oh my god. I hope Diggle punches him. You f you, Stop I... sticking things in the timeline! <laughs> Stop playing God, Barry! No, you know what would be even better? Not Diggle punches him, if Lila punches him. They don't, rem I... they don't remember. She remembers giving birth to a baby boy. Leave it alone. That was really weird after they brought Sarah back that the baby still name was still Sarah. I was like, shouldn't you just change it to something else, like one of your grandmother's names or something? And I guess the writing room was like, oh yeah, we should fix that. Hey, they really like that uh, Star City twenty forty six. Let's change. Let's change it. Yeah. Yeah, that, I just think that's what happened. Yeah, that that seems to be those those two reasons are like why they did it because it's like otherwise it's like okay, well, it really didn't do anything for the story. Yeah, it really didn't. So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, were there any Easter eggs that you noticed besides uh, all the Batman Begins stuff? It's, um, I don't... the Return of the List. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, oh, that's the other big point. Prometheus knows about the list. Yeah. So I was trying to think, who knows about that list? Who knew about that list? Quentin even know about the list? That's what I was trying to remember. Yeah, that's what I was trying to remember too, because I was like, wait, you're pointing to Quentin, but did he even know about that list? But he, I'm trying to remember he, if he knew or not. Where was Diggle? Oh no, he was there. Oh, what? We didn't see Diggle during the fight. Uh oh. I was trying. To, I was trying to remember. Did Tommy know about the list? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think he did. But Robert Queen definitely knew about the list. <laughs> That's your new, that's your new tinfoil cat theory. Okay. I don't know. I'm think I'm. I'm He's supposed I, to be in the hundredth episode, by the way. Oh yeah, both parents. Uh, who was it? Both parents. Laurel. Uh, some form of death stroke. That double in a death stroke, man. <laughs> you don't think you don't think they keep it? Could we see Tommy? Not not even as Prometheus, but just Tommy in the hundredth episode. I don't think he was at that party. Everybody that was at the party, except for like the Flash cast and some of the Supergirl cast, um, but everybody from Arrow, they, they were at that party. I don't think I saw Colin. I think he's still working. So I don't know. Are they keeping it a secret? Dude, can't. I'm just gonna give a shout out to Canada Grass. Like that dude, he ruined the. Well, he didn't ruin. He prepared me for the grave. So. <laughs> I don't hear him saying that. That that's another reason. Like all of like, there's a lot of things that go on. It's like if you're a super fan, you know where to go if you really want to be spoiled about things. And I haven't heard a single thing about it. 
Mm-hmm. So that's what makes me think that it's not. I would, like I said, that would be amazing if they could keep the secret. Hmm. Oh, we got a Babylon 5 shout out. <laughs> By what? the way, a Babylon 5 when um, Felicity discovers the message that Prometheus is leaving. Uh... Um, I was just like, really? Babylon 5? That's, that's random. Um, anyways, those are the only ones I can really think about. What, you don't think Goth Felicity was sitting around watching Babylon 5? Definitely not. <laughs> More like the dollhouse or something. I got some, some Josh Wheaton cyberpunk. Definitely not Babylon 5. Dark Angel. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Shout out to Jensen Ackles. <laughs> Baby Jensen Ackles on top of that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we're done, then. Who was your favorite character? There's a lot of good ones. Uh, I'll go with Evelyn. Me too! <laughs> She's like, she should be, like, the co-captain of the team. Like, she, she has a good sense of right and wrong and stuff like that. And she knows when to say she's sorry. Mm-hmm. And she just has a good rapport with everybody. I actually really like her, now that she's not trying to be, well, Lance number two. Yeah, have, we'll have her after, you know, in charge after Oliver and Diggle. Like, don't let Felicity make any decisions. Oh my god, please don't. <laughs> like, why is she trying to be the team mom? mom? Like, it's weird. Tell uh-huh. them, tell them. And I'm like, dude, chill out. None of your decisions have panned out this season. She that just remains want... heat after death. She just wants to tell everyone. And this isn't the first time she's told someone she works for the Arrow. I'm like, okay. <laughs> You just love blood. Now he go. Bro, next episode we see Oliver go kill Billy Moore. <laughs> Nobody can know my secret. <laughs> and Felicity thinks he was jealous. No, he just knew the secret. He he puts a, a throwing star. Prometheus did it. <laughs> but and she she always acts like you know no one's gonna know it's him if she just says I work for the Green Arrow. Well, okay, who did you spend all your time with? <laughs> who did who did you work for? Then who were you engaged to? Uh, a former billionaire? Hmm. I know. It's so terrible. So she just needs to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> but, I mean, I get it. Like, she's so, supposedly so big on telling the truth, I guess, is the point of this. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Well, it's like, um... <laughs> why don't you, why don't you wait to see if this relationship's going somewhere? I, I, I mean, I guess. That, that, that would be the, the responsible thing to do. He, now he's just going to follow her. He is a detective. Mm-hmm. So, episode 102, he finds out Oliver's the Green Arrow, right? Yeah, probably. It. Mm, yeah, if not mid-season finale, yeah. After it, yes. Anywho. Um, favorite scene? Um, hmm. I don't know. It's a toss up. It's either, either the train or I don't know. I did like when Dolph Lundgren walked in the room. Uh, I think it was uh, the B team drinking team for me. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> I was like, Rory's in here making making hooch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what those weird uh, sculptures are for. <laughs> After he gets all messed up. <laughs> Like, oh, moonshine. It's like a it's like a big uh, brewing thing for like moonshine, yeah. <laughs> um, also, I really like uh, the scene where all of it was like, uh, Diggle, Ragman with me. Everybody else, help everybody to safety. And Wild Dog's like, really? <laughs> and then he shoots the zipline arrow and uh, Curtis says it's his favorite part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you see his legs wildly flailing. <laughs> <laughs> Wild dog, why? Uh, because I said so. I know. It's like, dude, just just follow orders for once. Okay, maybe Bat- you won't get your face beat on. <laughs> <laughs> just, just maybe. Uh, yeah. Look at episode. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. I give it an A. You know what? Me too. I'm so glad to be giving Arrow A's again. It feels good. Yeah. I'm proud of you guys, especially you, Wendy Markle. Proud of you. <laughs> oh, I want to shout out to the ratings. Now, don't freak out. We're at a point seven, but we had more viewers at, what was it? Uh, 
650,000 viewers. That's up from 1,610,000 viewers last episode. So we're getting there, guys. Just keep on believing. The Dolph Lundgren effect. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fact that we actually weren't competing against anything. But I will say mm. that last season did take its toll, and we are recovering. And I think we can get up back to a point nine by the end of the season if they keep up this good quality. And the, the crossover might help because people who might be watching just The Flash or Supergirl or something might... Well, I will say that the Flash crossover last year definitely pulled up the overall average mm -hmm. of the ratings last season, and I, I expect it to do the same since it's so huge. Plus, we have Supergirl, so. And plus, people might just watch it. The, you know, it's Arrow episode 100. They might be like, hey, this is pretty good. I gotta come back. Yeah, definitely. I hope so. I hope it's really good, and people go, oh, I like these characters. Uh, you know, maybe the internet was wrong. Don't watch season four! <laughs> watch one or two! Skip and three and a half up to the climb and then jump to season five. That, <laughs> that's going to be my uh, thing on the on social media as a PSA. Hey, if you're new to Arrow and you like Arrow, watch seasons one and two, three, up to nine, and then skip straight to five. <laughs> what happens in that gap? Uh, Oliver, Don't, and Fel nothing, nothing. <laughs> Oliver and Felicity sleep together. Move on. <laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah, looks like uh, time for shameless plugs. I will give our plugs for the show first. Okay. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at QC underscore SG. Uh, Phil usually live tweets every Wednesday unless mm -hmm. uh, I'm not working, which is never. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash clean consolidated. Our email is clean consolidated at gmail.com. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. So please do send in listener feedback. Uh, you can find us on your favorite podcatcher services, such as iTunes, Stitcher, Lisbon.com. And of course, if you're an Android user over on the Google Music uh, side of things on your podcast, right, please do subscribe and don't forget to download because streaming does it count still. Uh, but yeah, just for the show, search for Legends of search for the Legends of DC podcast. You will get this and all the other fine shows on this feed. Uh but if you want to discuss any of this, any DC, any Marvel with me, you can always email me, nightwingpdp at gmail.com. On Twitter, I am at nightwingpdp. Uh, you can catch me also on Before the Bat. Uh, the Nuff Said podcast, I'm all over there with Charlie Esser. And my uh, new interview with Devin Grayson just uh, went up on Nuff Said about her uh, Doctor Strange novel. So please check that out. And... Uh... Eventually, we'll get around to a Doctor Strange <laughs> Yes. Um, you can also find me on Twitter at Little Hellfire or at Adventures in FG. Please be sure to check out my new website, Adventures in Fangirling. There's lots of fun content, great new things to check out if you're interested in new comic books or books or movies or whatever. Especially with the mid-season coming up and everything's going to be on like hiatus, it's a great time to discover something new. So please be sure to check that out. Phil, wrap it up. All right, everyone. Uh, it's a good show this week. Hopefully, it, it doesn't. It didn't feel like a five years on a hellish island. It felt more like a, uh, I don't know, somewhat less painful vacation in Russia. So, until next time, this is Queen Consolidated signing off. <laughs>